Hey guys, it's Kara from Carabex Style. So today's video is going to be the review of the Wake Up and Makeup Target Beauty Box. Yay! Okay, so I kind of did a basic face today. Um, I just have on foundation, then I said it was some powder, and then I did my brows because there's some makeup actually in here that I want to try and, you know, use while I'm recording so I can just kind of like tell you like how I think it is. So let's go ahead and get started. So the Target came out with several of these like kind of like um, beauty boxes that are different from their like monthly beauty boxes. So this one is um, one of four that I've gotten. So I've done two videos already and I have one more to do. So um, this one is all about like beauty and all that kind of stuff. So. And you actually get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things in here. So, heck yeah. Okay. So, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right. I'm going to scoot up here because this is going to be fun. This is going to be real fun. Okay. So, the first thing is the Sonia Kashuk. Kash, Kashuk. I don't know actually how to pronounce that. Like, I don't know. Quick dry makeup brush wipes. So place wipe on a clean flat surface, gently swirl brush bristles on wipe to remove makeup. Dry brush with a paper towel. I would probably like not buy something like this like on the daily or like have this like in my um, actual like regimen of cleaning brushes. Um, because I would prefer to like use like actually like makeup remover soap and stuff but cool concept like it'll probably work really good um, on like uh, anything you use powders on like um, makeup um, makeup the um, eyeshadow brushes or like blush brushes or anything so it would be interesting to use yeah, I think you probably only get one in here so it's worth a shot Okay, and then you get the Dove Fresh and Care Co Fresh Coconut Dry Shampoo. Can I just like say, like this smells absolutely divine. And I, you know me, I'm not, I'm not a big coconut person, but it smells a little bit, it smells a little bit more tropical than anything. So I actually had gotten a different um, Dove Fresh and Care Dry Shampoo um, from another beauty box. And I get so many beauty boxes that I can't remember like which one it was. Um, struggle bus but I really like their new formulas and stuff so I'm excited to try this one um, and it has a really great scent so that's really exciting oh and then you get your little like um, description of what everything is and then you also get your coupons you get okay so you get a coupon for your Dove dry shampoo and then this Dove thing and then um, for this honest stuff okay I'm gonna keep going Okay, so I want to start like with this one. So this is the e.l.f. Um, Beautifully Bare Natural Glow Face Palette. Fresh and Flawless. So I actually thought this was an eyeshadow palette. But that includes Beautifully Bare Bronzer, Highlighter, and two blushes. Hmm. I need to go grab the different brushes because I brought eyeshadow brushes. Because I thought it was an eyeshadow palette might be anyways but I'll show you this up close first like oh my gosh like so pretty so here's your two blushes your bronzer and then your highlighter gorgeous okay all right so let's see here I am going to start with the bronzer so I'm just going in with the Firma 103 this is one of my favorite contour brushes I obviously have to clean it but I'm just going to <laughs> this mirror on it isn't like super fabulous or anything but it'll work mm -hmm. love a good contour You can tell it's like not like super super dark. Just just enough. I I love like making faces like when I do contour because I'm always like mm. This 
This mirror is actually like absolutely terrible. I can actually see it better in my little camera thing. Okay. And then I actually have like um, an e.l.f. Um, professional bronzing brush. Anyways, but I'm going to use this as my blush brush. So I'm going to go in with this one right here and put a little blush on. I've never like known their stuff to be like super, super duper like pigmented or anything. But it looks nice. Just like a nice, like almost like mm, super natural looking. Hmm. Mm hmm. Very nice. Blending it all like really nice, like together. You could just, you know, it's almost like a um, fair look, you know? Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my Ipsy B36 Tapered Highlight Brush. So this is like my favorite highlighting like brush like ever again probably need to clean it but yes look oh my gosh look at that oh i like that i really like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yes bitch okay I wasn't really thinking I was going to be a fan of this palette because I thought it looked super basic like when you look at these colors you're like oh wow like this probably really isn't gonna do like a whole lot for me but I I go sometimes like heavy on the contour and then sometimes I go a little bit lighter but I'm gonna give that one an A I like that natural glow face palette from ELF, ELF as a lot of us like to say. And then let's go ahead and just continue with the other ELF product in here too. So this is the Bare, oh, blending brush. I could have used this as my, anywho, I could have used this as like a blushy brush, but, or um, contour-esque, but you can see here, it's just like, it's a cute little like short, like little mini do one. Oh, so cute. But yes, always, a blending brush is always like perfect. I actually want to add some of the bronzer to um, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. Okay, moving right along. So the, okay, this thing, okay, I have so much stuff here, I'm forgetting what I've done and what I haven't. Okay, so this is the Dove Dry Spray Invisible Sheer Fresh. This is a 48 hour antiperspirant. <coughs> okay, this is interesting. I've never, you, you can probably see like my, what oh, smells good. Smells really good actually. I've never used like a just an <coughs> just inhaled that. Okay, don't breathe when you do it. Okay. I mean it it's like instantaneously dry. Obviously it's dry spray. But okay. Reduces underarm wetness. So this is something that I feel like I would put in like my gym bag because sometimes like apply reapplying deodorant like I don't know. I switched to like a new deodorant now. <coughs> I'm still inhaling it. Um, but I feel like this would be super easy like when you're just like changing for the gym and you're just like chick chick and then like put put that stuff um, under your armpits. So I don't know. I, I think I might actually add that to my gym routine. Okay, so the next thing is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. So I didn't want to take this out of the package so you could see it first. But um, I haven't tried a CoverGirl um, mascara in a while because I've been going for more of the better brands like the um, Tarte. I love the Tartist. Um, I got one of my Ipsy bag or Birchbox by Ico that I really like. So 
I'm gonna take this one out and since I don't have anything like out on my lashes, um, I like cut myself on that. I like don't even know how I like do, do this sometimes. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can really see with the reflection, but okay, so the wand is very interesting. I always find like the wands like the most, obviously the most interesting part, but. So let's put this one on and see if it, I have kind of like, not sparse lashes, but I with like mascara, I can kind of like fake them till I make them, you know? But um, let's just see how this goes. Do, 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 do. People are texting me. I don't really, so far I like it. My bottom lashes are kind of hard to do because like the, the bristles are weird. I feel like it's probably going to be better for your like top lashes. But let's not give up yet. Also, do you like my headband? I, when I worked for Gap, I, this was from like the toddler section. I was like, when I was smaller, I used to be able to buy like Gap Kids clothes. <laughs> not anymore though. I should have like curled my lashes before I did this, but let's give it the old college try. Okay. Let's go to top because I'm done with this. This mascara really isn't doing anything for me. I can't say I'm a fan. Maybe I need to like swirl it around. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Let's finish this before my battery dies. I don't know. I'm not liking this. Not one bit. They definitely look flary, peacock flary. They don't look very full. They don't look very long. Like I don't feel like it's really added like any length or anything. And I did an absolutely terrible job because I have no lighting to the side, so. But. I will get up in that camera so you can see it. I don't know. Not saying. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't give me what I actually look for in like a mascara. So this one, not my favorite. Okay. The last thing in this beauty box is the Honest Beauty Refreshingly Clean Makeup Remover Wipes. So you get seven sheets in here. So I haven't really tried anything from the Honest Beauty collection. It's, um, it's obviously like made without like certain like um, things in it, like fragrances and that kind of stuff. Um, and it's supposed to be like um, honest to goodness, helps fund access to safe products and advances. So um, I'm always down for like something like this for like traveling and stuff. So um, I usually just buy like the Neutrogena like 10 sheets or whatever when I travel, but I actually really will use this probably. and. I don't know. I'm sure it's like probably like every other makeup remover wipe. It actually like takes off most of your makeup, but you still probably have to like cleanse and stuff. But okay, so that's it for the wake up and makeup um, Target beauty box. I actually really like most of the stuff in here, and I'm like probably the most surprised about this. Like um, it's like covered in fingerprints, but um, the ELF um, Elf 
um, face palette. Like I feel like it, if you wanted like more of like a very soft, like natural look, I think this is like perfect. Um, and I can't wait to actually do it like in front of like a big mirror because I feel like it'd just be like that much better. But really some really great stuff in here and it's like totally worth it. Like they're about a dollar a piece when you average it out. Like for $7 you get this box and you get seven different things to try out. So I highly encourage you to try some of these boxes if you really want to like get out there and try different things from different companies. So with that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and you know what to do. Thumbs it up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.